My name is uh, Jeff Louie. I'm an avid record collector. I got into vinyls when I was probably in about fifth grade. Collected records just like every other kid did back in the uh, late 70s, early 80s. Uh, as soon as I got my car, of course, I started collecting CDs. Pretty much haven't really touched records until uh, my daughter, who was 16 at the time, asked me about it and I dug out my old records and decided I want to start collecting again. I actually had about 300 records and within four years I grew to about 5,000. I started off like everyone else. You look through the garage sales, you you ask people, that kind of thing. Uh, and that's how I grew. I think I, I got very lucky in the very beginning because the first garage sale I went to, I managed to get about almost 200 records right off the bat and probably about a good third of them were really good ones that I really wanted. So I was very fortunate. My name is Dante Pinker. I work here. <laughs> and I think I just got into it because my dad and my uncle were collectors. So for Christmas one year, they bought me like nothing but records. So I was just like, oh, well, I guess I have to start doing this. I don't really know what I like about finals. It's just one of those things I like, but I think it's like a, just a collectability. You know, you can have something tangible with whatever band you like. I grew up with it. I grew up with going to the record store, going there for maybe hours at a time, just thumbing through section A all the way to section Z to the point where I was there for two or three hours just looking at them. Um, being able to hold a record, uh, being able to what we call interact with it, um, look at the photographs, uh, the, uh, the cover itself, and look at the fine details, read the lyric sheets. That's when you're interacting with music, I believe. Um, because nowadays with the CDs, MP3 music, um, it's very easy to just put on something and kind of have it in the background. This kind of what I call forces you into interacting with it, you know, uh, have to turn the, the record over and um, just enjoying it. I do think that people like the collectability and that you can physically hold it. It's got, it's something about it's cooler than other physical media, like better than CDs. With CDs, I just noticed that it's, well, for me, like the high end on, the, on a CD seems to be really there. Um, I don't think it gets into the, the lower notes as good and as precise as a vinyl record, if you're talking technically. I, I've had people argue with me on both sides, and I guess at the end of the day, I stopped kind of caring what sounded better. I just like the, the collectability of it. I think what happens is every 20 years or so, um, the things that are non-existent now become the next fad. So I'm hoping that, I, I don't think this is an, a, a fad. I think this is here to stay because you still got a lot of what I call old timers like me that, uh, that enjoy it and they will pass it on. I think it's just like, you know, what comes around goes around. I think people kind of like that it's not common anymore. If you're going to get into this hobby, I strongly recommend that uh, you make a lot of space. You're going to find a lot of people are going to give you stuff like crazy, or they're going to try to sell you stuff at a very expensive price or really cheap. I think that's because most people buying records nowadays are kids like getting the essentials because they just got the record players or people that sold their collection they're just trying to get the essentials again. What will happen is you're going to start playing it, you're going to you're going to like a particular band or artist and you're going to want their whole collection. Then you're going to want that whole genre and next thing you know you just you're just going to fall into it. <laughs> Keep buying records, they're sick. <laughs> they're cool.